All right, folks, here we are back again at CES 2014, once again with Nick from ASUS. And now we're gonna show you a lot of new killer stuff that's coming out from these guys that has to do with video cards and stuff. Now, some of the stuff is actually already out in the market, but some of it's gonna be brand new. So let's let Nick tell us what's up. All right, so we're here and we're gonna go on the ROG end. So on the inside of this case here, this Cosmos case, we have our ASUS Poseidon graphics card. So this is based on GTX 780. This was in development before the 780 Ti, so you may be seeing some updates um, in terms of on the Ti. Um, but basically the Poseidon, as the name indicates, is gonna be water-based as well as air-based. So here we can see we have the inlets and outlets for water cooling, um, as well as we have the dual fan system that you're familiar with seeing on like a DC, DC2 solutions, right? So it's got a choice of either one. If you're a guy who just yeah. wants to do overclocking and stick with air cooling because you don't want to go crazy, you're good to go. But also if you want to be someone who takes to extreme, you've got all those options in one card. Exactly. Just give you a little bit extra flexibility. Maybe you have been on water. Maybe you you added this card while you're on water, maybe you want to get off of water for so a So one thing the fans are definitely going to want to know, Nick, are what type of connections do we have here for the water cooling? Uh, this, is, this will be your standard 3.8. 3 8 Yeah, I believe. Anything inside of them yet? No. no. Nope. All right. You guys can see right now, they're using a giant Cooler Master Cosmos case right here to install all this stuff. They've got a Corsair AX1200i power supply down there. And then here, if we're gonna we're gonna move the case around just a little bit, and check well. this out because this is really badass. So this is our ROG dual bay gaming panel. So this is a four-inch LED LCD, um, and as you can see, you're gonna have a host of controls here. So uh, as well as um, some audio out, some USB, um, and then you're gonna see. So you have CPU uh, frequency. You'll have uh, CPU and chassis fan control as well as monitoring. You'll have uh, temperature uh, control for motherboard and CPU monitoring as well. Um, so. This little knob here will give you access to all the different options. Um, if you long press, you'll be able to go in and edit those options. So we'll see we've got into edit mode. We can adjust the fans or pick which fan we want to adjust um, and as, as well as a host of other options. It's really cool because it's totally digital. It looks awesome. Yeah. looks like something inside of a Ferrari car. So this gives you a host controls. It's got a little escape feature on this button where if you're in the middle of a game and someone's walking in, you don't want your wife to know you've been playing games all night. You hit this escape button, it'll just window out of your game and get you on your desktop. Really? Right on. That's really, that's really, really good. I think that's going to be really cool for those kiddies who want to play games at home and don't want mom and dad to know. You're just going to be like, ah, wait, I'm out of that game. Now, like we said before, folks, there are a few products that are already out, but maybe not all of you know about it. One of those is the Asus Mars card, kind of like a Mars bar. Nah, not quite as tasty. Maybe if I dip it in chocolate, it'll be tastier. But just tell us just a little bit about this Mars car, because it's pretty tricky looking. Yeah, so this is our dual 760 Mars. Uh, so you have two 760 GPUs uh, from NVIDIA, um, auto SLI. Um, just slapped onto one PCB to go. There you go, so four gigs of RAM total on the card. and. We actually did an article on this for you folks a little while back. We didn't actually have the card in hand, but now you guys can see the card. So I'll just bring it up to the cameras. So you guys get a real nice close look at this card. Show you guys the back of the card. You guys all love the solid backing in the card. We've discussed this many times. Awesome technology. And unlike previous Mars releases or Aries releases, this is not a limited edition piece. Yeah, not, not just a limited to a thousand pieces. Anybody available. can buy it, yeah. So if you're around the world, you want to buy it, you can get it. You got right here, you got your SLI. If you want to slap two of these bad boys together, you can do that. Your Mars logo, power connections. See, it takes two eight pin power connectors for ballsy power. You guys can see the cooling solution and all that stuff and the dual fans. So usually two fans means DCU2, the two standing for two fans. Also, we got a little thing over the monitor, the Rampage 4 Black Edition motherboard. That's the motherboard that was actually in that system that we saw a few minutes ago. And it's a very high end motherboard for ASUS. So that wraps it up for this technology. We've got some other stuff to show you guys, as well as monitors and some other cool stuff as far as systems and actually a fast router. So there's just all kinds of ASUS technology. So with that said, me and Nick are out of here and we'll be with you soon for another video, right? There we go. All right, see ya.